All right, what do you got? Oh, jeez. Uh, we could go with this one: creepy pasta with a side of sauce. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this thing on. Guess it is. <laughs> I can see the little light on the recorder, and it isn't flashing just yet. This is a. Well, okay. It isn't a last will of any sort. It's a recording of the freaky stuff I just saw. Saw and ate. Oh, God, it was bad. <laughs> Not not the previous phrase, but the food. Well, okay. Let me let me. Let me you might want to rephrase that. <laughs> right, let me start at the beginning. As in a few hours ago, and what the heck I did at the cafe. If it was a cafe in the first place, I got a call from an old school friend. She wanted to meet me for a bite to eat. She's a hot chick, and I hadn't seen her in a good long time. Of course, I kept in contact over the net. With a body like hers, I'd. Have been stupid not to. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. He's going to be a nice guy, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. Milady. <laughs> Was that Beetlejuice? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Plus, I was hoping to get lucky with her. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I'm drooling. You might want to <laughs> You might want to clean that. <laughs> it's showtime. Oh, no. <laughs> So where was I? Oh yeah, I I go to the place. Uh, I go to the meeting place, and it's something that looks like an abandoned building, all hollowed out. I think to myself, this isn't the place. Look at the address, thirteen Kent Street. It's synced with the numbers on the building. Funny thing is, this is a building in the middle of a busy city. Just just There's, just a building. Just a building. Not like a skyscraper or a house or. A- an no, orphanage, just a, just a building. Just just building. Abandoned. But people were walking outside. Asking me what I was doing here and who I was meeting. Of course, I told them to go away. It's my own business to be hanging around out here. Yeah, only I should care about which abandoned buildings I'm snooping around in. <laughs> like, that's none, of, that's none of your concern. Just let me, <laughs> just let me put myself in imminent danger. Like, seriously, come on, guys. Dang, if only I knew then. But dang, I wouldn't have run. <laughs> she was stunning. Came towards me and I knew then that I would be having fun soon. Of course, well, I shouldn't say. Took my hand with hers and said that it was great to see me in the flesh again. I asked what we were doing here and why everyone avoided it. She avoided the question by kissing me. And I can't really remember what happened after that. Except that we were in the building. <laughs> I won't say what we were doing. <laughs> Man, inside it wasn't abandoned, but it was a bustling business. Jeez, did I just say that? Bustling. Oh, who says that word now? <laughs> a lot of people, actually. Keep keep up with the times, man. <laughs> I'll have a look in the dictionary when I get home. Internet. I meant internet. Jeez, what is wrong with my speech now? Are you reading this, or are you actually saying this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> eh, oh, well. It was a busy cafe. She directed me to a table, and we sat down. Small talk. We were gazing into each other's eyes. Jeez, that sounds so cliched. But for two people who hadn't seen each other in a good long while... Okay, going off track here, and I don't know what's going on with me. Menu was pretty normal. All pasta. <laughs> Nothing but pasta. <laughs> yeah, drinks were normal, and there were hamburgers, but different. Never seen a cheeseburger pasta before. You've clearly never been to New Jersey. <laughs> she knew the place, and she ordered for me. I, I'm looking at the menu. I'm curious. I'll just make my own order. Please don't order for me, because I, you don't know if I'll like it or not. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're clearly psychologically linked. I'll order for you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't catch the name of the dish while it came we talked she told me how she always had a huge crush on me and never said anything i was stunned but my tongue loosened and i confessed the same my tongue loosened yeah yeah it, it just got loose and fell right out of my mouth yeah oh yeah keep in mind also this story is either one or two lines long for a paragraph oh <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's not it's not paragraphs, it's stanzas. Yeah, it's stanzas. We got closer, and geez, I was about to kiss her again when the food came. I must have looked at I must have looked annoyed because she laughed and reached under the table too. Okay, losing thought there, yeah, gotta focus. <laughs> Why would you write that into the story? Be- because personality. <laughs> Pasta was good. Slightly tasted of iron, but I brushed that off as a figment of my imagination. <laughs> the meat was tender and slightly tasted of chicken. Did you have chicken? I'm beginning to think that was actually chicken. Y- yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of meat... What kind of meat is that? It tastes like chicken. Chicken? You know, this pizza's pretty good, but it tastes a lot like oatmeal. Looks down. <laughs> oh, it's oatmeal. <laughs> then again, what meat out there doesn't taste like chicken in some way? What kind of meat are you having? <laughs> Something nagged at me, and I looked up to see everyone in the joint was staring at me. Julia, the chick I was with, was smiling sweetly at me. But there was something in her in their eyes. I didn't know what it was. That's called a pupil. <laughs> <laughs> something dead, I guess is the best word. Jeez, that that was freaky. And then I had another glance at the pasta. Jeez, I wish I hadn't. I can't even describe what was in the bowl. Maggots, leeches, centipedes, spiders. Oh my. All crawling around fettuccine and, l- and lashings of chunky tomato sauce. And then something made me look closer at the sauce. <laughs> looked normal enough and tasted great. Strange chunks of meat, though. What I thought was chicken or beef. So I, so I had established three things. <laughs> so wait, you said it tasted like chicken, but you're, you're saying it could have been chicken or beef. The which is it? <laughs> you have to know your meats before you, you eat You gotta them. make up your mind here, dude. Like, you can't just chow down on a steak and then look down and realize you're accidentally e- eating your girlfriend's arm off. <laughs> Why does this have sort of a lavender aftertaste? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're dead. So I had established three things. One, the pasta was really a bug-laden Frankenstein monstrosity. Two, it tasted really great. Needed a bit less salt, <laughs> of though. Of course. Of course. Like, it's, you know, the maggots and the leeches just add some crunch to it. It just needed a bit less salt, then it'd be perfect. Yeah, that, that's it. The leeches and maggots are fine, but just need a little bit of salt. And three, everyone was giving me dead eyes. Of course, I could have retched and run out of the place. But where was I going to go? I got nothing out there. No job, no cash, and stuck in a cardboard box in Hyde Park. Not literally, though. No family either. So, how- what? (laughs) What is coherency? It doesn't exist anymore. And the insects gave the pasta body and texture. I stayed in my seat and ate the rest, while the patrons burst into spontaneous applause. Now that was creepy. Hmm. Oh, they, nothing much. They, they found it disgusting at first, but when I did it again, somehow they found it amazing. <laughs> uh, nothing much. I'm just dictating what happened. Really? No, this recorder doesn't have a multi-directional mic. Yeah, only my voice. So we open it up shop. So he, oh he, re- he recorded the events and then transcripted them. Well, that explains why he was going off on tangent a whole lot. I guess, yeah. Oh, gosh, I know, dear. We have to keep more people coming to us. Yes, I know. We will. Soon. So John wants more funnel webs in the sauce? Eh, I'll see what I can do. Yes, I love you too, Jules. Yes, he'll be perfect for our needs. At this point, I can't tell if you're just going off script or if you're actually reading directly from this, the story. This is, part of, this is part of it. Oh, my God. You know what? That's a testament to your acting abilities. If he isn't, well, yes. That's perfect. Let me finish this up and I'll go with you. Five minutes? All right, I'll catch up. Where was I? Ah, yes, after the lunch. Meal. I was questioned by Julia. She wanted to know if I wanted to stay with her. I said yes, and she showed me the inner workings of the cafe. Turns out everyone working here is dead. Great cooks, though. Hard workers as well. So that th- that just went from an a story to an RP and then back to a story. Yeah. 
<laughs> a, well, no, more like a one-sided RP at, at yeah, best. Yeah, it's it's a one-sided RP. It's like RPing with himself. Me and Julia, we are we are the channelers of the outside. We meet people online and take them on the guise of people they haven't seen for a very long time. We lure them in for one of two purposes. One, we always need new workers. The undead only last so long before they're put into pasture. Literally. The other purpose, well, it's in the sauce. It's all in the sauce. What? <laughs> Wow. Oh man, this was this was terrible. <laughs> that is that was just a mess. That was oh, clearly that... that was clearly there was no second draft. No. There wasn't even a first draft. That's just an outline. It was just all it was all quick and done. <laughs> you know what? Maybe this is a Rick and Morty spin-off and it's actually a it's actually the Sketchuan sauce. I can actually see that. <laughs> Obviously, and if you take the first letter of every stanza and combine them together, you spell out wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> It's all in the clues.